I'm Mr. Tastic and welcome to day 27 of the Junior no! Bonanza. And today we are gonna draw some sleepy lemonade. Ah! Because if you just draw normal lemonade, it's just lemonade. But if you can make it sleepy, now it's flavorful. All right, so grab something to draw with and something to color with and let's make some sleepy lemonade art with one ice cube. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. All right, welcome back. Today is day 27. We are going to be doing some lemonade, and we're going to get right into it. So grab something to make a mark with. And if you're just joining me, this is the June Drawing Bonanza where I have been drawing every single day for the last 30 days. Woo! Okay, all right. We're gonna do one oval with two lines tapered down. Don't use a ruler. Practice drawing a straight line. And if it's not perfect, that's fine. It's, it's what makes you different than a machine and AI, okay? Embrace the human. Embrace it. Okay, here we go. Curve line at the bottom. This is gonna be parallel to this line here. Matching parallel lines. So that way it looks 3D, even if it isn't. Now because this lemonade is smiley translucent, so we're gonna add some dashed lines to indicate that there is a backside to this. You know, it's over there. All right, lemonade. I'm gonna draw, well this is a lemonade that's been out in the sun, so it only is going to have one ice cube. <laughs> oh, I don't know why I'm even laughing. Guys, I'm losing it. Okay, draw a diamond. This is how we do a cube. We're gonna draw the first line down, straight in the middle, longer than the back two. These two are gonna be the same height. So these two lines are gonna be shorter than the front one. Now, I'm gonna draw this line, and it's gonna be parallel to that line, and this line here is gonna be parallel to that line, and now it looks 3D, or like it has form on a two-dimensional surface. Now, I made a little mistake here where I got part of that in there, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shade, shade it with hatching lines, and now it looks like it blends in. And that, my friend, is how you just turn mistakes into, and make it look, look like it's intentional, like it was supposed to be there, even though it was really a mistake. Now nobody else knows except for you, and me. Anyways, I'm gonna add some dash lines, because you know how I love to use that to add some little texture, oh yeah texture. All right, so it's lemonade. Lemonade is uh, sour. Sour but cute. Is it cute? I don't know. Let's give it a face. Is it angry? Ooh, you know what? It's sleeping. <laughs> I haven't done anything sleeping yet. We're gonna do sleepy lemonade. It's boring. What? This lemonade's so bored it fell asleep. That's weird, isn't it? I would never picture that for lemonade. That's what happened. Okay. Draw some U shapes and thicken them up, right? We're being intentional. Drawing with purpose. Yes. We got lemonade. It needs a mouth. Oh yeah, when you're sleeping, you're like, oh, I'm so tired. So we're gonna draw a mouth. I'm gonna leave a little white in there so it looks like it has a little bit of a lip here. Now, of course, we gotta add some expressive lines because otherwise we're not expressive and we're boring. And this guy's already bored, so we gotta give it some life. Cheeks. It's lemonade. It has cheeks, obviously. So we'll draw some ovals under there. And now it's sleeping, so we always use a Z to represent sleep. So draw some Z's. All right. <laughs> you got your Z's. You got your Z's. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's draw. Let's color our lemonade. Okay. I'm gonna color my lemonade yellow because mine is lemon lemonade. But maybe it's limonade. Whoa. Well, and it'd be lime, yellow green, right? Lemonade, or maybe it's a grapefruit lime lemonade. I don't know, raspberry lemonade, iced tea lemonade, whatever variety of lemonade you got going on. You match the color to your favorite variety. Ooh, I wonder what I'm gonna be like on day 30. Woo! But don't worry, after that, I'm going back to my weekly episodes where I'm a much more normal, misertastic. I mean, 
miserfastic normal things. Okay, we got that done. Boom. I'm looking for a light blue. Okay, you don't have to color anything the same color as I'm doing. But I'm gonna shade my cube with a little bit of blue because it's picking up some of the reflection off the glass. I add some blue on here as well. Oh yeah, guys, let's do this. I'm gonna shade with more blue because hey, art is lost. Your grades are gone on me. I'm not going to the store right now. It's too far away. It's another, another town. Bye-bye. I live too far. So we're going to be shading with some weird stuff lately. Blue. And also, it's good practice for artists to not stay in the groove of these. Oh, well, let's use black again to shade. Black again to shade. Right? No, no. Actually, in most cases, that's actually not real shading color. So we're just going to get out of that habit right now. Haha, <laughs> look at that. I found some gray. <laughs> As I'm saying that. Look at that. Okay, moving it away. Gotta get rid of that. Bad habit, bad habit. All right, pink, pink. Now anytime I'm going too fast, you just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. I know I did this in five minutes. I'm on hyperspeed, guys. Um, probably because I'm overtired. I wanna make these purple. Now anytime you need to watch a step again, you just go ahead and hit, go back. Go back in the design in the video, watch me do it over and over again, say some crazy things over and over again, <laughs> make some sound effects. Anyways, once you're done, your lovely sleepy falling asleep lemonade is done. Make sure that you give me a thumbs up and a like. That yeah, helps for the Google, uh, Google Analytics, YouTube Analytics, although it might be the same thing. I forget who owns you, who, but I feel like they do own, yeah, I think they do. Anyways, YouTube Analytics, give me a like. The more interaction I get on the video, the the higher, it, the more likely other people are going to see it as well. And that's the only way I can grow my channel. That's just being 100% real with you. Um, as well, please subscribe. I have a serious goal of getting up to 100,000 subscribers. So I would really greatly appreciate if you shared the video and subscribe. And if you all already haven't. Anyways, and if you do do this or do any of my other videos and you add your own orange flavor to it and your own spice of life, please snap a shot of it and take me on social media at Mizzertastic. And I will see you in the next episode, uh, which will be number 28 of the day 28 of the 30 day challenge and we're doing a beach umbrella don't worry i'll make it spicy okay see you then well that's it for this episode please make sure that you subscribe to the channel ms artastic and if you create anything and share it online on social media please please i would love to see it so tag me at ms artastic and i will check it out or join the community and conversation and use the hashtag hashtag ms artastic and I will check it out that way as well. And you can see what other people are creating who create with Ms. Artastic YouTube videos. Well, that's it for this episode, and I will see you in the next.